Boy, y'all peoples. <laughs> if I give my heart to you, oh, please, I must be sure from the very start that you won't break my heart like her Cause I couldn't stand the pain And I... Oh, I better stop. Anyways, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. Welcome, 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 welcome to The Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. First of all, I want to know, um, uh, it's so much madness going on that I don't know how many of y'all really, really want to debate the uh, spiritual walkers on the planet that says that there has been something unleashed on us. And it wasn't just Corona, Okay. You can think that if you want to, but it was way more than the corona that ushered in all this stuff. And it's really um, kind of difficult to have a spirit of discernment when you live in, in a nation of beasts. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Somebody asked me, they said, why, why aren't you voting? Um, you know, I mean. It's the lesser of the two evils. I'm tired of the... What kind of craziness is that? Listen to this. Is it two minutes over with yet? Okay. Listen to that crazy shit a little bit. And they got you actually regurgitating and actually saying this, repeating this as if it's something provocative to say. Oh, well, I'm just... Uh, picking the lesser of the two evils. Really? Really? So what you telling me is I got to choose evil at the end of the day. Don't matter what. I need to choose evil. It's, 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 yeah. Okay, I, I don't understand. To me, it's like what? You making a choice between Lucifer and Baleaza. Which one y'all want? Huh? Satan, <laughs> the big Satan, you, you might want the little Satan. So let's just say the big Satan and the big demon. I don't know. They both sound the same to me. Maybe it sound a little different to somebody out there. Maybe y'all could enlighten me. Because um, right now, y'all, y'all, I can't believe what I'm looking at. I can't believe this is not the world. I'm accustomed to, but it's all right. It's all right. You only live once, right? Uh, so now what's on the list, you see, because we're dealing with people that are not very original, they can't do nothing but go back and forth, go back and forth. They can't use any creativity. I, I, I told y'all, I was just uh, one of my favorite, I hate to say it, my my kids and them get mad all the time because I still like to watch Chuck Connors and Mark. And the rifle man. But it's the same. And I told him, I said, will you sit down and tell me what's the difference? Y'all laughing at me for watching the old black and white. And you tell me what the difference of this is. Right now, where these folks sit up here in this saloon, kicking each other, uh, pushing each other out the doors once they drink that oil, once they get full, how they act. Once, how they act. They get to shooting on each other, kicking each other through the doors. And we haven't evolved at all. Uh, a society, depending on the devil to raise you, you can't go very far. So whatever the devil is teaching you, you should be trying to figure out something totally opposite. Because whatever the devil is showing up, it's all lies. <laughs> You can't begin to uncover and unmask all these damn lies that they done told you. So anyway, this is a subject one of uh, 
my friends asked us to uh, talk about. Because I'm out of childbearing age. For those of y'all who aren't, uh, and a lot of y'all don't remember why this ruling was even came into effect. Listen, I come from the days where we used to find women in the alleys with hangers stuck up in them and babies hanging out. I'm from the day where women used to throw themselves down the stairs, jump on fences, uh, do all kinds of stuff to get rid of a pregnancy that, that's unwanted. And now these freaks, it's the Republican freaks that want to rape their sisters, um, have sex with their mothers, and get them pregnant, and want them to be able to keep the baby. These are the kind of dem demonic uh, energy. They got the nerve to tell you you can't have an abortion under no circumstances. That's because they want to have sex with their sister. Don't you get it? Okay, so either way it go, you're going to have to fight the devil. That's all I got to say. This decision, which is not expected to be finalized for another month or more, could change in its final form. However, it would leave it to the individual states to determine uh, abortion's legality. Okay? Nearly 50 years ago, the Supreme Court legalized abortion in the United States with his decision on Roe versus Wade reshaping the nation's social and political landscapes. On Monday night, Politico published a leaked draft opinion that said the Supreme Court had privately voted to strike down a decision, setting the stage for abortion rights battles across the nation and prompting a wave of protests at the Supreme Court in Washington, D.C. Listen, these people doing anything any and everything. All I want is reparations. I don't give a damn about what y'all do in this raggedy ass place. And you know they ain't gonna give it to us because they know half of us to get the fuck out of here. Right? I know right now, if I had my, for my portions of reparations, I certainly wouldn't want to stay in this raggedy ass uh, hell hole of a country. And they calling everybody else hell holes. Of course, if you ask me what would I rather deal with, the trash in Africa or the trash here in America, honey, for me, it's a no-brainer. Because, see, I can clean up that trash right there. And once I show some people the way, maybe they'll want to clean up too. Okay? But this right here? Cha. Anyway, in the leaked draft of uh, opinion, Justice Samuel Alito Jr. wrote that the majority decision to overturn Roe versus Wade and four other Republicans appointed justices, um, Sambo, Neil Gorsuch, and Brent Kavanaugh, and Amy Coney Barrett, voted with him in the conference held among the justices according to Politico. Uh, the news organizations reported that Justices Stephen G. Breyer, Sonia Sotomayor, Elena Kagan were working on dissents. It is not clear how clear uh, Justice uh, John Roberts planned to vote. Okay, so all, all across Europe, pol uh, politicians are reacting to the shock of Supreme Court report. As Europe woke up to the news that the Supreme Court might overturn Roe v. Wade, progressive lawmakers across the continent expressed concern and surprise. The right of women to decide what happens to our own bodies is a human right. A uh, leader of the Scottish government tweeted on Tuesday morning, and experience tells us that removing the legal right to abortion doesn't stop abortions from happening. It just makes them unsafe and puts the women at much greater risk. Um, I have a book, and I don't have it. It's in the other room. It's called The Women's Book. And it's a, for those of y'all who have it, please share it with some of these younger folks. Um, because they need to know it, that there was a time that abortion was illegal. So I remember that time. Uh, they need to remember that there was women at one time found in bathrooms. They'd be everywhere, 
right where. I don't really want to necessarily get back to that, uh, and I would hope that it wouldn't. You go in the bathroom at a shopping mall and you see a dead woman in there uh, with blood all over the floor. I mean, women are not going to be forced to carry babies they don't want unless they really, really want to. If they can't block out what happened to them, then they're more than likely going to kill the baby. Okay. If they were raped by a evil uh, subhuman beast, you want them to carry that baby and bring it forth to life, huh? You got a lot of damn nerve. Somebody should stick it down y'all throat. All of y'all that voted for abortion, somebody should vote to stick something up your ass so you can see exactly how that feels. Because I'm going to tell you something. This is um, it's going to open up a can of worms. And I know a lot of y'all going to disagree with me out there. And that's fine. This is what it's for, for us to state our opinions. However, all I'm saying is I remember a time when, Lord have mercy, that was horrible. Women in alleys. Uh, get the book. They got live pictures. Women in apartment buildings. Uh, stanking in there. Let's go check out. See what the smell is. Oh, because you know the smell of death. We go in there. We find women there with a clothes hanger up their vaginas on all fours trying to give themselves an abortion. Happened all the time. It was nothing, it was nothing new. So they want to go back to that time. I mean, I'm like I said, I'm past that. But I would really hope that uh, greater minds will prevail. That, that these people that are saying that a woman sh should have a baby uh, uh, should not be allowed to have an abortion. Challenge them with other questions. It's like, are you sick? Does the thing have a, a baby that you said is a lot? It's, it don't have a social security number yet. You can't even determine the sex of it yet. So you said any, anything under six weeks. Well, hell, others, you ain't going to even hardly know you're pregnant unless you really are somebody that watches their body. See, don't forget we've gotten away from that as well. How are you going to know you're pregnant before uh, six weeks? I did. But of course, uh, being brought up MGT or brought up in certain facets uh, where a woman's health is first and foremost, you learn how to read your body. You learn how to take the charts and the uh, calendars and dictate what are you doing around your time of your body that you know, your ovulation and every damn thing else. So we so far away from that. People are now just fucking. They screwing out of both draw legs. Okay? They don't give a damn about who the daddy is. Matter of fact, it's out the wild, wild west. So the Supreme Court's decision in uh, Dobbs versus Jackson's Women Health Organization, the case before the nation's highest court on a restrictive Mississippi law, could be the most consequential on the women's access to abortion since the 1973 decision in Roe versus Wade. But the legal case over a law that makes most abortions legal after 15 weeks of of pregnancy is by no means the first to challenge or chip away at the Roe uh, versus Wade. Okay, so you know, like some of some of the strict in, in the past. Here's some of the most significant past rulings. Outside the United States, abortion restrictions are common. Abortion restrictions multiplied across the United States. In recent years, other countries were heading in the opposite direction with their policies and procedures. But the status quo in many places still uh, is still to restrict abortion in one form or another. Uh, for abortion rights advocates, much of the process in recent years has come from Latin America. Colombia's top court decriminalized the procedure in February. Mexico's Supreme Court made a similar decision a few months earlier. And Argentina went a step further, becoming the largest nation in the region to legalize abortion in 2020. You know, um, vowing to rebuild a firewall around reproductive rights in California, 
The state's Democratic leaders just announced plans to put a state constitutional amendment explicitly guaranteeing the right to an abortion over the, on the November ballot. I mean, people are just going to move around unless it's something that's mandated by the federal law and that will cover every state. Now, I mean, all they're going to do is move around. All this snitching on people that you know is going to have an abortion, now that is going to bring a lot, bring the murder rate up. Because as soon as people find out who the snitches is on the block, <laughs> you know, just this is Pandora's box. Then the scrolls of toothpaste out. How you gonna get it back in? It's impossible. Uh, state leaders they pledge to protect or eliminate um, access to abortion. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some women who don't need to be. Um, uh, uh, in a position to have an abortion. Uh, governors and state legislatures reached a mix of alarm and celebration after the leaked draft opinion suggested that the Supreme Court had voted to overturn it, which would leave it up to each state to determine a woman's access to abortion. Shortly after Politico's public leak on Monday, the Democratic governors of at least 16 states, including Mexico, Michigan, and North Carolina, emphasized that abortion remained legal in their states and pledged to keep it that way. Um, I, I did a video about a chick I knew. Um, and um, what disturbed me about being in her presence was that she was talking to some other people. And um, she said, I'm not worried about getting pregnant. Hell, I'll just go to the chop shop. And it hit me to my core. Because using abortion as a form of birth control is so sinful. It's so... Ooh, that's a miscarriage of justice. It really is. And I will even give you once. But 12 times, you done had 12 abortions. I know another girl that had seven abortions. One that had seven. What are you doing? You're using abortion for birth control? That's why they got to do something. Because y'all out there bad. Y'all laying down. You don't care about disease. You don't care about babies. And you will have 12 abortions in your life. Well, I ain't going to see your lifetime because you're still living. That to me is insidious and it's insane. Okay? That goes to show you that there needs to be some kind of mandate. Yeah, you can say my body, my choice, but you just can't keep going and having abortions and having abortions because we need to abort you maybe because you out of control or put you on some type of um, uh, um, permanent birth control. And then you can go out there like a dog in heat and don't have to worry about the consequences. Okay. And lastly, I'm going to say, you know, in Washington, just hours after reports emerged, um, uh, scores of protesters already began to outs uh, assemble outside the Supreme Court, flowing into an area well into the morning hours on Tuesday. The mood outside the court was a mix of anger and mourning, with some demonstrators sitting silently in front of a long line of candles, while others formed a roving circle shouting defiant chants at the news. Uh, there's a lot of anti-abortion campaigners rejoice at the prospect of Roe versus Wade being overturned. Look at the lady that had all those look, had some babies down in her basement in a jar. She claimed they were aborted fetuses. So, you hear the argument on both sides. What do y'all think? 
What is your opinion? Do you think a woman should have a right to be in control of her body? Um, do you think she should be able to have an abortion? Uh, and especially um, under certain circumstances? Or do you think not? Never, no, nada. And I don't care if your Uncle Joe raped you. You would be bringing forth this child. Let me know y'all's opinion about it because I'm very curious. In the meantime, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.